Change, Stochastics, and RSI The study of stochastics is the study of change, unpredictability because of a seemingly random variable. Aside from its uses in economics like Markov models, it is a very simple and popular technical analysis indicator for detecting changes in momentum. Specifically, the closing price of a candle relative to the price range over the last 14 periods. The indicator's premise is that when the market is bullish, the closing price will be close to range highs. If downtrending, the closing price will be close to range lows. Developed by George Lane in the 1950s, he was famously quoted, Stochastics measures the momentum of price. If you visualize a rocket going up in the air, before it can turn down it must slow down. Momentum always changes direction before price. It can be expressed in a chart using the following formula. Market rate, or K, equals 100 times the close subtracted from the lowest price of the 14 periods over the highest price subtracted from the lowest price over the 14 periods. And the addition of a moving average to easier determine when a momentum changes and produces signal. When displayed on a chart, and much like any range band indicator, overbought and oversold conditions are the primary signal generated. The default thresholds are 20 for oversold and 80 for overbought. However, 30 and 70 are also used. These are typical levels but may not be suitable for all situations depending on the instrument and the time scale being viewed. It is typically best to trade along with the trend when using stocks to identify the overbought and oversold levels, as overbought does not always mean a bearish move just like oversold does not always mean a bullish move. Many times overbought and oversold conditions can be a sign of a strengthening trend and not necessarily an impending reversal. To help illustrate this and what is actually being calculated, when the market is sideways and range bound, the stochastics will indicate where a candle's close position is between the highest high of the 14 periods and the lowest low. During a bullish trend, since the price is consistently climbing, you can draw a parallel channel as you like, but the close will be consistently close to the top since again the price is climbing. So this is the mistake a lot of novices make. Just because the starch key line is above the overbought integer doesn't necessarily mean that it will retrace anytime soon. More reliable would be when the starch passes below the overbought integer in this case. Selling when the key line moves above the integer works better in a ranging market, you see. Like our previously reviewed indicators, there are also divergences you can trade. Much like the MACD histogram, if the price makes a new low but shows a higher high in the starch key line, this can be evidence of an indicator bottoming. This would be a bullish divergence. To help you visualize this, the harder a move's strength, the lower it would push the starch, so a lower high is a weaker sell impulse. The opposite is also true with higher highs in price and a lower high on the starch, a bearish divergence. Now something we haven't seen before, positional setups. Different from divergences, an example would be when the price records a lower high, but stochastics records a higher high. This results in a dip in price which can be seen as a bullish entry point before price rises, and again, the opposite is true. There is also another extremely popular oscillator, the RSI. RSI stands for a Relative Strength Index. Developed by Wells Wilder in the 1970s and first published in his book New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems, expressed as an oscillator, the basic interpretation is similar to that of stochastics. They are even interpreted combined, but more on that later. While they may look similar on the chart, their underlying principles are entirely different. Instead of tracking closing prices relative to the current trend, the RSI tracks overbought and oversold levels by measuring the velocity of price movements. The formula is as follows. RSI equals 100 minus 100 over 1 plus relative strength, where relative strength is the average gain over average loss. Average gain is just that, the average gain or loss per period with the user's defined look-back period. Traditional setting is 14. Interpretation is also similar to the stochastic oscillator with two levels dictating what is traditionally overbought or oversold. Much like the stochastic oscillator, RSI will remain deep into the extremes during an extended rally. These two indicators can also be used and combined as the starch RSI. Care should be taken though as this is two steps away from the price, a derivative of a derivative. This does allow it to disconnect from the price, but it can be used independently to easier observe momentum in a ranging market. 
I found it is best used in conjunction with the RSI to pick the top, so to speak, if it is to be used at all. Thank you very much for watching and cheers. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Next video will be down to a vote on my Twitter.